I am going to make a shuri or salty pickle and for this I need a jar any extra vegetable that comes at the end of the summer available at this time I have this cauliflower some cabbage some uh, pepper some carrots an old uh, sweet some tiny button mushroom and a cucumber so I will chop them put them in this jar then I'll fill it up two thirds with water two, uh, one third with the vinegar any vinegar you don't need to, to think worry about that any kind of vinegar and two spoons of the salt any kind of salt doesn't matter what salt just salt I may add a few cloves of garlic if I um, have it or a few uh, tiny uh, onions or shallots or whatever you have so let's go ahead and chop them and fill it up I've skinned the carrots and diced them here cut it across now I'm going to do the same with this but I will not skin the um, cucumber okay I should have told actually slicing yeah I sliced the Cucumber also, sliced also the carrots. This is a juice of carrot, I will wash it if I want. You don't need to put the uh, mushroom, I just want to for the first time do it. I never saw my mom do mushroom because <laughs> these mushrooms are really new as a food. So I'm just going to, to add this to the mixture here. Okay, this is the sweet pepper you can use chili or if you want. I don't want anything hot in this I don't like hot stuff if you want to suffer you can use it if you prefer the flavor of them I don't like the hot spicy stuff so I just add this and now we go for a little bit uh, sweet you can use pick uh, you don't need to use it I had this I just want to use it this is a sweet you can use a turnip you can use a Jerusalem artichoke if you have it anything anything you can use uh, I have this it was rotting in the thingy in the <laughs> fridge so I'm just going to wash it and use it for this purpose you don't need even to use it if you don't want okay I've uh, removed the skin of the sweet with this scraper and I'm now going to cut a few bits of it I don't want to have too much of this okay this is some of the sweet it's quite actually sharp the smell of it is almost like turnip so I'm going to mix a little bit of it so that's been used now okay this is one uh, greyhound cabbage I just go to chop a little bit of it and just mix it with that just as a filler yeah this is the cabbage And now the time for the cauliflower, which is the most important ingredient. So I'm going to show you what I will do with this. And the next thing is uh, using some cauliflower. You can divide them, take them, you can cut this even further by hand. You don't need to even cut it by hand, just separate them. And then you add it. This is the most important ingre ingredient in this shuri or salty pickle. This is a typical salt. You can have a bigger or smaller according to the size of the jar you are using you don't waste much even the stem of it which is this you just can cut it and put it add it to your ingredients okay now my darling sweetheart wife has now prepared some garlic and uh, little onions we grow it ourselves also yes so, I did yeah they're tiny but they are they are for flavouring. They'll give the vegetables lots of flavour. Lovely. I'm adding it now here. That's it. Now I'm going to mix them. You can use a spoon for that. I'll just turn them like that by shaking it. I'm telling you, even without being pickled, it's so divine. The smell of it is so fresh. You can eat it right away. Okay, I'm now going to fill up my pickle, my jar. If I run out of a space, I will. I can use any other jar that I have, any size. 
This jar I bought it from a charity shop, so it's quite cheap and sweet. Can use anything. And for you know making sure there is no air introduced into this, I can use uh, something like a plastic cling film uh, on top of it just to exclude whatever air I can. Have to press it. I think I've made a lot more than what I, this jar can take, but not a problem. I'm going to make more jars, but this will be what you will see. I'm adding the next ingredient, which is water and vinegar, and then two spoon of salt. And water will be two thirds of the bottle, two thirds, I mean, two thirds of this up to here. Water, then this amount vinegar, any kind of vinegar, and two tablespoons salt. I will add. Okay, I'm now adding the water, just up to here, which is two thirds. We use water because it just preserves the thing and fills the gaps so there is no you know, pathogen or something that can rot it. And vinegar also will help that. So I have now filled it up, up to here. You can see this is the line. And now the rest of it will be our uh, vinegar. Okay, darling, I'm now adding my vinegar to this. So that's the vinegar done. Now I add two spoonful of salt. So I'm using this sea salt that I have. You can use any salt, that's much. One spoon. Two spoon, that's it. Now this is a cling film. Um, after even two, three days, that will be ready. Well, you can keep it up to two weeks if you want. Then after that, just start using it. And pack it like that. A little bit too much at the moment, but I will check it. And I can put a label here somewhere, writing what is it and the date. That's it, done. Okay, now it is done. Salty pickle. For people who want to live, you know, self-sufficient. It's not for people really who are lazy or, you know, men who live on the, on the women and, uh, and the kids uh, living in a kind of, you know, like a parasite. This is for people who really want to be self-sufficient. Yeah, it's a little bit dripping because it has too much. Now it is done. Okay, this is our uh, larder and we have kept it here. This is the one I made in 24th, so three days before that. And already you can see the pickles of the uh, for example, uh, gherkins, cucumbers, almost ready. So this one also stays there until both of them are ready. And we can enjoy them. Okay, I'm not filling up the second batch, but I try to mix some uh, coriander seed and some uh, deal with it, deal nice with the cucumber pickles. So that's what I will add to that end of the video to tell you that you can actually do this also. So if you want, you can add any, uh, any other things, including peppercorn if you have, if you don't want chili, which are like me, you can add peppercorn. Okay, now this one also is filled up. I will press it again a little bit more and then add one two third water, one third vinegar. And then I'll put a cap on it 
doesn't need the that other film because it has a sealant. I don't need to use clean film. And then I will seal it like that. So this is now done and the second batch. Darling, will you do that please for me? There we go. And that's it for another food. pickle. <laughs> another how many weeks does it take for this? It will be in three days we'll be ready, but oh, you can keep it for two weeks yeah. and that's it done. And these are not kilner, they look like kilner, but they're made in China and they're cheaper. Now we have now the third pickle jar. This is shuri. Uh, shuri means salty and uh, that's a Persian word. Is a pickled, uh, salty, um, kind of late summer, autumn ingredients produced that you can pickle and just enjoy. The middle one is already done from the 24th, so it's three days only past. But I think it's ready, you can eat it, but uh, I will keep it another two, um, yeah, another 11 days, two weeks, to make it up to two weeks. The two on the center and the right, uh, left have the um, things like dill and the coriander seed added, but the one to the right doesn't have that. So it's a good also comparison for us to see how they are doing.